Hey everyone, Tom here, coming to you today talking about how you can update information on a lookup field based on your current deal. Right, so very similar, we did a video recently, but the other direction, right? We had a lookup field, we wanna get data from there, bring it in my record. Now I wanna do the reverse. Now I have all my data right here, now I wanna send it up to the lookup. So let's get right into it here. So I have a sample deal. This is actually the same one we used in the previous video. If you watch that, if not, we'll have it in the description. But basically what this one was, we got some information from the contact, brought it in. And so now we have this deal and now I want to, based on what's going on with the deal, update Harry and his contact information. And so this is how we're gonna do it. So right now they're linked, but it's very hard to kind of translate that information back and forth, right? You kind of need custom code or something to do that. But we're, I'm gonna show you a shortcut, a way to make this super, super easy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna jump in, we create a workflow. And you can see what I've done here is I've just done it on deals. So I wanna kind of mimic a real life situation. And what this one is, is that I want to have it so that the closing date on this actually gets automatically sent to Harry's deal under we have a field called product go live date. So if we're selling a product, we now wanna know when they go live with the product, it usually coincides with when we sell them the, the deal. So you can see it here, we have this field, it's called product go live date. So I want that to be the closing date when we actually close. And so let's get into it here. So first things first, let's create it and say, what do we want to happen when <laughs> very specific things happen? So let's say, hey, when the stage is updated to the value, closed one, right? So that's going to be the first one. And let's just do it for all deals, at least for now. And then here's the trick. Here's what we're going to do. So instead of, you know, using what we've always used, you can do the field update, right? If you guys think about this, I could come and do a new update, but I can't like I can't do if I came in and did the contact clients and then I did the go live date. So it's there, but I can't do something dynamic. I can't do it based on what's in the deal. That is until now. So what I can do now, come in here and do an advanced field update. And so very similar field update, but an advanced version. And we're going to update a lookup record. So let's click that. It's going to ask us what do we want to look up, the client name, of course. And then here's the magic, right? So this field update is actually very similar to the standard Zoho one. The difference with this one is actually it will trigger a workflow. Well, that's what's really nice if you're kind of doing cascading workflows that you need to trigger. But this one here is the one that really is a lot of value. So I'm going to come in here and say, OK, on the deal, the closing date gets translated to the go live date. And that's it. And it's safe, name it something appropriate. So closing date to go live date. Perfect. And that looks good. So let's hit save. So now we have back to our deal and let's just say we, you know, we skip all these steps that we have and we're ready to close. And the closing date is next week, but you know, maybe actually it should be today. So when we hit closed one. So now we're there. So that's great. And so this should trigger a workflow. I'm going to make this today. We have a couple mandatory fields. I'll just quickly fill in. So I filled that in. There it is. Closing date got changed today and we're going to hit save. And so that's good. That should trigger the workflow. And like all things, you can actually see that here. So that one that we have called update contact, it just got triggered. Great. And that advanced field update closing date to go live date was also triggered. Awesome. So between those two things, we feel pretty confident, but the proof will be in the pudding, right? So let's go back to Harry, quickly refresh his page and see if that information has changed. Again, what we're looking at is that go live date to see if it matches the closing date, which is today. So if I look at the timeline, looks like something happened, but let's not spoil it. Let's go down and of course, product go live date equals today, exactly what we expected. It matches the closing date here. So everything looks exactly like we wanted to and we're good to go. So that's pretty much it. That's how you can take the information that's in the deal and then send it up to the contacts. And it applies really for any lookup, your current record up to the lookup. And it's really kind of as easy as I showed you. And so if this is something that you're interested in, by all means, do check it out. See if it's something that could be useful for you. Uh, you can check it out by going to blueroot.ca slash wes, W-E-S. And it's really kind of walks you through this page of everything that we can do, you know, why people even choose to do this, how to get started. And we really kind of walk you through all of it and, you know, some referrals and the ability to get started. So it's all there. Please check it out, blueroot.ca slash wes. We'll include it in the description as well. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, let me know. And thanks again.